Hello guys, I just had this package from Amazon, and as you can see the title, it is an unboxing of the Razer Death Hatter. The title always ruins these things. Anyways, let's get this opened. This Amazon box. And there we go. Now, inside the box should be a Razer Death Hatter. Has something happened to it? No, it is there. Or there it comes out of there. And it comes with this... They say it's a voucher, but it's really not useful because it's just normal anytime it comes it just comes with every package now this is the box itself and we're gonna get to it and it comes with this plastic rollover that says remove before display well that's quite obvious anyways we'll get to the real package in just a second hello guys now that we got the amazon box out of the way let's get to the true box the death had a box now let's see some of the features shown First of all, it is a 3500 DPI, which technically stands for precision. It means it's a really precise mouse in every single movement, depending on your settings. It's got a 3.5G sensor, uh, infrared sensor, which is quite good, to be honest. And taking a look around the box, not much down there, just some bars and stuff. And it does show it's 4.3 times faster than the average mouse, I believe. Yeah, three, yeah than the standard mouse. And it's, it's got 77% less motion than a standard mouse as well. And the great news is it's compatible with almost the most used systems, which is Windows XP, Mac, Windows Vista, and Windows 7, and probably Windows 8, I expect it to be. Now, that's it's got some literature on the back talking about some of the features of this mouse now I won't bother you with that there's nothing much interesting it's just in different languages it talks about the features and it also shows what's in the mouse number one one two three four and five so we'll get to that once we open the box and actually access the mouse we could talk about it now let's get it opened nice sound there it's got a little clip and there is the mouse really really cool you can actually kind of feel it. It feels like a fat mouse, especially because I use a magic mouse normally, and it does feel quite fat, but at the same time, it feels like the mouse that will fit my hand perfectly, especially because I got quite big hands, which is bothers me with the magic mouse since it's quite small. Now, let's get it open then. Now, for this, we're going to need our legendary blue scissors. Let's get this opened. First of all, I need to cut it in the right way. I, I should be smart than that. And, 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 I've opened it. Yes, I did it. That's great. Close the scissors. Health and safety right here. Put it back where it was. And let's open the box from the top. Now let's get this package out of there. This contains a mouse, and there it is. Take this small plastic key cover and access the mouse feels really good by the way it is really shiny it does look like a fingerprint magnet to be honest and now let's see me try getting everything out of the box some leaflets there and first of all let's access the mouse let's touch it let's feel it it feels really really premium it's got this fiber cable which is set in the box is fiber and you can feel it's fiber and also a gold plated USB which is really really nice but the mouse is what you want it's what you're here for it feels extraordinarily good I hope I pronounce that word correctly and the m scroll also feels good rubber scroll by the way if you do not like that then don't go for the mouse but almost all, every scroll is rubber unless you're used to the magic mouse just touch it and just to make sure it is you can see written around the sensor is 3.5G infrared sensor and precision 3500 dpi just to confirm this is the actual mouse. Now let's remove some of the plasticky thingies around the mouse that's keeping it shiny and clean but after today it's gonna be a fingerprint magnet and unfortunately it will get dirty and used. So it's good to record video and remind me how it was before. Really nice. It's got two optimizable keys or buttons on the left. You can optimize by downloading the drivers at their website. Really nice cardboard box here with the logo there. And it's for gamers by gamers. Razer is for, it makes uh, gamers hardware. 
and mostly they try it out on uh, real gamers first and real gamers do kind of design it. So certificate of something. Death header. I think it's a quick guide, yep. Yeah. Quick guide stuff and install because you do need drivers to personalize this mouse. Some more guides and stuff. Literature, I hate it. I hate reading these things. Sometimes I do need it, sometimes I don't. Comes with nice stickers that you can stick on the back of your laptop. Some information about your mouse. And more literature, but this is, um, is nicer. It shows some of the other products, mouses, and other stuff that Razer has. Here's my mouse right there, and some other mouses I wish I could have. Unfortunately, the price point is really, really high. This mouse is now costing, at least it cost for me at the time I bought it, about £45 and it was on discount on Amazon. So, I'm putting this mouse also together with a keyboard, the Rocket Arvo, which I'm going to use for gaming. Now you can see this uh, Rocket Arvo unboxing later, it should be on my channel, I'm also still editing it. As you can see, this is a mouse here, feels good. Got nice fiber cable right there. Really strong cable, so it should resist. It should be hard. At least. <laughs> anyway, so sorry, I, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Mouse is not my strong point. So this is all that comes inside a box. I'll be reviewing this very, very soon, as soon as possible. I know I say this a lot, but I really, really am getting more serious with these videos. And... I'll be reviewing this very, very soon. So thank you a lot for watching. As always, subscribing helps. Liking this video helps. Sharing even helps more. Thank you all for watching and supporting me. This is Tax Knuckles. Bye-bye.